Welcome to my realm. Okay, beyond both time and space. What is this? <laughs> God? God, is that you? I am that which humans called Arceus. It is God! Hi, Poka God! Soon thou shalt find themselves in a world strange to thee. I'll take your word on that. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that human call Pokemon. Arceus' voice? Okay. Arceus never talks in, like, the show ever, right? So, but sometimes Pokemon will talk. So now we all know that Arceus' true voice is the old man announcer. A wonderful world of Pokemon. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts. And I have a cell phone. Wasn't this game supposed to take place like in ancient, ancient Sinnoh? Here, I return to you the great cell phone. So, am I being like isekai or something? Like, I thought the whole idea behind the story was that it took place in ancient Sinnoh, but I guess I'm time traveling or something. It is. What? <laughs> you have a funny looking hat, mister. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Um. Doc? Um, first of all, it's quite blatant to me that you're a Pokemon professor, potentially Arceus in disguise, but do you want to talk about the giant floating crack blowing behind your head, sir? Is that where you fell from? My name is, let's see, Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these little... Oh, blast and bother! My darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you! Wait, you three! Wait! Yo, we're going off. Oh my god, this is such... I'm so used to seeing this from a top-down position like this. Yeah, like that. But you can really zoom in in this game. Holy crap. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Is it my cell phone, blessed by God Arceus? Is God gonna be texting me this whole game? Yes, he is. I bestow upon thee this Arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. I got God on speed dial, this is wonderful. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in the area. This is kind of refreshing. It's like, they're explaining Pokemon captures to me, but it, I, I, it's because the Pokeball has just been invented. I like that. So, hold it to aim, and then release to throw. So, oop, this is a little hard to control. Ah! Nice. Only two of my darling running ways are left. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon the slightest. Is it normal in this world for people to be scared of Pokemon? I guess. I heard that supposedly uh, Pokemon like attack people in this game. So I guess it makes sense that people would ordinarily be scared of Pokemon. I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. Cause Pokedex isn't a thing yet. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Okay. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented. Not many have mastered the skill of using them. This puts a twist on it. I thought... Forget, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I thought the first Pokédex ever invented was made by Professor Oak. Maybe it's not like the original Pokédex, maybe it's just like a catalog that they call the Pokédex and like the electronic device was made by, po by Professor Oak later. Anyway, first things first, let's get these Pokémon back to the village. Uh, then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. This is so cool! Where'd you come from? Are you new? Survey scores outfit, maybe. Understanding you must be more attack, curious about others, but do follow me for now. There's so much text to go through! Ah, so much text! <laughs> green-haired Sam. You had too many green eggs and ham. Well now, why ain't you awfully suspicious? 
Wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. <laughs> They're so mean. Like, this is the first time I've seen mean people in Pokemon other than like a evil organization. It's so weird. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice through those flimsy excuse for clothes. Hmm? Are you saying that you're wearing layers of armor under your clothing, sir? Or that's made out of some sort of metal fiber? Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Am I 15? Yo, Pokemon jump by five years. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they are all over the place, in the grass, the forest, the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. I'm glad there was a point in history where this finally gets addressed, because like, seriously, imagine if you go out to like, get out some trash, and there you come across an opossum, and as soon as the opossum comes by you, the first thing it does is light itself on fire. Like, like, that'd be intimidating as fuck. This is so interesting. Just everything about this is such a weird take on Pokemon. I love it. Also, what the fuck is the kid's shoes? For me there, I thought they were like, they were like, made of like some sort of bug Pokemon shell or something. I, I thought those were eyeballs. I mean, I guess it's not the first thing to be curious about. I mean, the professor's wearing the thing on his head plus striped clown pants. Is he, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you on tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. I am literally playing a Pokemon game where I have been sentenced to die. <laughs> What is happening? Oh! Well then. Zeus has descended. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, I'm numbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corpse will put you to rights. You uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Nice! I guess start with one. Obviously, we're going with best boy, Oshawott. Ah, oh, it's Togepi! Okay, so this is just traditional Pokemon battling, I guess. I can't move. Oh, I can move. Why can I move? Okay, I can, I have full control of everything. I can move the camera around. I can move myself. What if I walk in between them? Hey, use tackle. All right, nothing happens. They just kind of stand there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to this place. Got it, teleportation. So it's not it's not Zelda in the sense that everything's like a full on open world with no limitations. There's still like pocket places you have to go to. This is Aspiration Hill. Cool. All right, so I can throw this at a tree. Sweet, this is cool. There it is, Shinx. Here we come, little death murder. Hello. I've done the thing that was supposedly impossible. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. Now present yourself to the commander. Are you the commander? Is this even the third floor? Are you the commander? Uh, maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a valid concern. If I fell out of the sky, chances are 
There will be others. Hello, Commander. That's a fantastic stash you have there. Hmm. So you are is he. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell out of the rift from the sky. Now then, let's see what you are made of! Face me in combat! Yeah! Hmm, you've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who's literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitions among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But should you pass the trial that was put to you? No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, we see. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. And then cue the appearance of something like Jigglypuff. Your terror. Uh, do you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right, catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more. Hi, Bidoof. I caught, no, I need to catch 25. Number defeated, number of forms you've obtained. Oh my god. I'm catching Bidoof's like they're going out of style. If I had to describe this game in a nutshell, it's... It's like a catcher simulator. Like, I know that's what Pokemon usually is, but this is like, I'm actively hunting them, is what it feels like. Oh, sudding, I... How many times am I gonna do that this game? Probably a lot. How far is my throw? Pretty darn far. Nice. Well, I've got the, uh, I've got the distance down. Oh, hi, giant-ass Rapidash. What the heck? All right, so the question really becomes, what happens if I try to catch one of these biggins? I mean, it's a huge freaking target. Oh, wow, just roaring's enough. Okay. All right, wanna try battling it? <laughs> let's, let's go! Rapidash is filled with wild might. What does that mean? Aqua Jet, it's like quick attack. It's level 40! Holy shit! Wait, it's asleep, but I can still fight? I'm so confused by everything happening here. So, like, this Rapidash is slow. Anyone else knows that? Uh, we'll play Rollout, because Rollout's super effective. Or not. Roll out. But I can still attack. I don't know what sleep does if it just does that. So can I catch it now? Like, is it catchable? I have it down in the red. Sure, let's see what happens. I don't think I can make you any weaker without causing you to faint. And I don't really know what effect a regular Pokeball has on you. Nope. Uh-oh. That's a sign of death. That's a sign of imminent death. Can I still fight it even without Pokemon? No. No, I cannot. All right, well, all my Pokemon fainted, so I guess I gotta come back later. Oh well, I can still catch a uh, Pokemon I don't have to fight. All right, up the ramp. I can't climb walls like in Zelda either. <laughs> kind of awkward. It's kind of a mix of like, Japan and the Wild West, isn't it? This is so cool, though. Frontiering. Can you imagine that, like, being a settler back in the day and living this kind of life? Uh, let me see Star's Entry in the Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Oh, I have to complete the Pokedex involving Starly. Ew. Alright, so this is gonna take a while. This game has lots of twists and turns, don't it? Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. 
Bam! This would have been so fun to do at 15 years old. Hello, guard. I forgot all about you. I do. Have yourself a wormpole, my man. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this wormpole right away. I've been told a wormpole will evolve into a Pokemon that is beautiful. So I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm. This is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautasia, Beautifreed, or Bugene? Beautasia, Beautifreed, or or is it Beautifred? <laughs> Beautifred. I kinda, I kinda like that. Yeah, I like Beautifred too. Guess decided then. We'll raise Beautifred to be a splendorous butter butterfly. Wait and see. <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. And that is... I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a survey course mender, and I've been even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. You have a Pokemon? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. You got the best OG! This is my Pikachu. There are many like it, but this one is mine. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side. My mind just went blank. And, and really, when you get it right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Uh, the deep questions this man is asking is finally being said. All right, so so hold the phone. Hold the phone. Um, Pokemon. Hi. Oh, okay, so I evolved by selection. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you advantage once the battle starts. I noticed something. Okay. Bear with me here. Um, when we looked at some of the other trainers, or some of the other people, like the captain, they're like gender-swapped versions of trainers that we see in the Diamond and Pearl game. Is Volo Cynthia? I'm just seeing like the the hair swept over the eyes, and I can't help but wonder if this is Cynthia. This here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. <laughs> you can tell we look a lot alike. He battles at my side by choice, without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Doesn't require balls. I <laughs> think I can catch it. I'm actually kind of curious now. No, it's not giving me an option. All right. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Trek Heights. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling the al an alpha. I've had my ass handed to me by an alpha twice, so... Before we continue, must I must ask, you already know about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? So, she's talking about Dialga. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. <laughs> that look of surprise. Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha, now could I? So where's the alpha? This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to the special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Dilly whoop! <laughs> That's the sound of majesticness right there. Be careful, Issy. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is powerful and hardy foe. I fought a level 40 and almost won, so. So, can I just sneak around the back? All right, so this has to be a battle. Oh, you can't catch it. You actually can catch it. I'd say the great weird ear is taking a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that could dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. As a human he a human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff! A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola! Is the professor from Alola? Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. People are dying! Medical Corpse has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. 
Ah, this is the Clevador that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Izzy here can handle things just fine. But that Cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget the strengths of Pokemon are key items, information that we have the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this peerless work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. This Optimus is gonna get me killed. Look who's being punctual, Adamant. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Who is this? Oh, it's the clans. I worried you get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. <laughs> wow, these guys are good at throwing shade. Me, get lost in all my Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. <laughs> There's so much sass. What do you intend to do about Clavedor, uh, Commander Commando? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. Mmm, I see you arrived. This is Issy, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Mmm, I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? I'm gonna go catch their guardian, aren't I? <laughs> You send a stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor. This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid a chance. I'm Soul Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I get to see how good you galaxy folk really are, with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in the strange balls and what have you. I like this guy. This is your mission now, Issy. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Wonderful stash boss man. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone! Bell rolling into, into action, sir. Ma'am. Issy! We need to speak to you! Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. That might be true. Although it was not Almighty Sinnoh, it was Arceus. There you go. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. And it seems to be the ideal weight too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. And thus, the Pokemon world introduced its very first example of slave labor. Dude, how could you do this to me, dude? Let's have a look-see over at our view. That's what this is for, right? <laughs> well, there goes the ball. Look at that. We got Starly, bunch of blue trees. There's the mountain. Oh, this place is gorgeous. And there's my goal, Lord of the Forest. The forest being one singular tree. Alrighty, now how do I get over there? If I jump off this, will I be safe? I can swim, sort of. No, no, I cannot. I cannot swim. Swimming, I cannot do. That's an alpha barrel. The most menacing of all creatures. All right, here we go. I have to sneak up on an alpha barrel and throw a Pokeball at it. This can only end well. Oh, sneak, 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 you fool. Okay, apparently water removes your sneak chance. Oh my boy, turn around. Turn around. If I land this sneak attack on you, you're, you're a goner. That's it! That's it! 
that's as far as that stupid thing goes! How the boss am I supposed to catch this guy with a heavy ball? Are you kidding me? It goes about half this distance. Will this catch it? Probably not. Yep. Alright, bring it on, boy! Alright, ball three. Yes! Uh, Scyther! Oh wow, there's a lot of Scythers. I'd bind the tree. I'd use the use the force to your advantage. Nice! I caught Scyther! <laughs> that was easy. Or was until you knew bubble. And now it's still easy. Oh, wait. You get to attack twice. But even I, Clever's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Clever's been rampaging and rumpa running amok. Lane and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to Quell's frenzy. Even you must search every corner of Hisui. Can I just beat him in submission? Hmm. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Tick tock goes the clock. What you got for me, Doc? Eureka! We simply have to throw the food! <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is a doctorate's degree at its finest. You have quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Issy? My suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? <laughs> Elaborate, please. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles? Well, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Yeah, one. <laughs> I've never considered like taking tea time and just throwing the tea at people. That's peaceful. Are you sure, Professor? They're your own inventions. Why not call them Leviton balls? Because that, my good Ray, is just chock full of suggestions. Nice! All right, this time for sure. That's it. Got them all. Record time. Perfect speed. Only took me four tries. There. A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleavor, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty clever, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As am I. It's man versus Pokemon. Here he comes! If Cleavor, judging by the name, is what I think it is, it's the Axe Pokemon from the commercial, right? Oh, he's a biggin! And my god, he's fast. Let's frickin' go! I'm ready for you. Uh oh. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to send in a bomb to do battle. Well, that was easy. Ah, I get it. Alright, so it's repetitive Pokemon battles. El Toro, Toro! Ole! Alright, so Clever always gets to go first. That's unfortunate. Woo, Stealth Rock is very different in this game. Got him! That was caused by food, ladies and gentlemen. It threw food at him, and this is what came of it. 
Off he goes. So, like, can I catch him? Hey, Cleaver! Wanna fight? No? Alright. Commander! I fought a giant battle axe demon. Well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, destroying peace of mind to Isui's people. You are a stranger to us, the one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You're dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Um, Commander, ignoring the fact that you basically said that me risking my life with a giant axe swinging demon um, wasn't a big deal and didn't prove anything about my capabilities or my loyalty. Oh, we have one more, one more uh, Pokemon from the Diamond Clan to deal with. Issy. I've been waiting for you, Issy. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Will you come with me into this dark alley where you are undoubtedly going to get mugged? Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of some strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Issy, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Alright, what am I doing? Crazy occult child. Oh, thank you! I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This old keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Ah, I know what Pokemon's about to get released. <laughs> After the seal's broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the Sui and hurled 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. See that flame hovering over there? The one that I told you that I can't see because I'm not holding the stone? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Go get it. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. Well, according to legend, uh, Spirit Tomb is an evil Pokemon that was sealed many, many years ago. And I guess many, many years ago is right now. You're Issy, the girl who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Uh, that's me. I knew it! You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. Good to see my reputation's getting worse, not better. Oh, hi! We have new people! You know, lately these space-time distortion things have been propping up here and there. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried to duck it in to grab them. But turns out there are legions of tough Pokemon inside. I barely made it out alive. You be careful with those distortions, all right? You jumped into a time freak portal? You got some balls, Ree. Okay. We completed a Pokedex entry entirely for the first time. Look at that. All the way full. Now just go tell the professor. What happens when we fill this thing all the way, though? Oh my god, so many Krikatoon. <laughs> And an Abra. We got a new Abra. Uh, nothing. I get a sparkly Pokeball, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for a bit, just because once I get all the Krikatoons filled out, I can talk to you about it. You completed Krikatits, uh, Krikatots Pokedex page? Great, quickly, let me have a look. Oh, so Krikatot produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antenna together. Hmm, I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape of those antenna. 
Did this lady just invent the violin? To complete the Pokemon's page on your Pokedex, you need to catch a battle species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Yeah, I am. Ooh, new place. It's a swamp. You know, I wish I could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking our map would help. So when you see the giant explosion in the middle, check your map to make sure it's actually there. Look at this place. Oh, right. <laughs> I panicked and threw whatever I had at him. Well now, I think that sells it. I must ask for your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Uh... Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Cilician ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? They're a trio of bandits that have hit us at Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. One of the earlier Team Rockets! Hello, what's all this? Ah, this is the camp. Who might now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god, I recognize the one on the left. Charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to any who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be an unlucky charm. They came up with these names themselves, didn't they? Thought you spotted a poly clover? Well, uh, soon you'll be seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm the one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. You got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest. Coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. They like Team Rocket. It's wonderful. Do the pose! We're the infamous bandit trio! The Miss Fortune Sisters and your luck just run out! I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the Galaxy team. They used to be Team Galaxy members. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> the Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the plastic fragment and go. Just leave us alone. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess they're that eager to calm Ursa Luna, hmm? That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursa Luna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there we go. Good as new. All... L-I... Something E... S. All lies. No. L I. That's not. An, all I. There's an E S V N. So L I E S. Likes. Lies. Lights. Could be a T. All lights toward. Tau. T O W is, I think, the first one. And then. Oh. No, this is T. O T O E P. Oh, now there's more. Let me read what it says. All lives touch each other. Lives to create something anew and alive. I <laughs> I think I said something inappropriate. No. All lives touch other lives to create something new and alive. Thank you. <laughs> I butchered that. I see. This is where Grandma would smack me upside back the, on the back of the head. That's my cue to leave. Jesus! Now, show your metal to Ursa Luna. Remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. So, no catching, just, just fighting. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. I'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what causing Ursa Luna's rage, that is. Sure to calm him down, we call it Toxigon. Great advertising campaign, Grandma. <laughs> Bleh. And that's the sound of an Ursa Ring throwing up. 
Rawr, look at this guy! All right, so he doesn't have he doesn't have speed increase, but ooh, I see. Huh. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around the Hisui region. Judging from the handwriting, it appears they're all written by the same person. Volume nine. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on, adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow, perhaps around the world to go. How many bones and days now gone have I to set adrift from me? How many bones and days to come will I yet set adrift the sea? While every gift with which I part takes the silver of my heart. Poetic. Um, is that supposed to, like, represent... Uh... A certain Pokemon or something. I don't totally feel like I got any particular kind of message from that. Or er, is he? I think you got something stuck to you. Well, again, our clan's Lady of the Ridge is in a frenzy. And Erezu knowingly kept this from me. Lady of what? Yes, there's only... Uh, there are only female Lilligan, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arazu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilife Village. Issy, perhaps you have some idea as to how we might address the situation. Uh, I could call Ursaluna. Because I apparently I have to dig out this Pokemon from under the ground. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arazu, wherever she's gone. Listen well, Issy. You must quell any Pokemon that could hum cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without, without war or strife. Did we fail to do that? Is that the reason why Team Galactic became a bad guy way later down the line? Because you may remember that Cyrus... The, the antagonist of Diamond and Pearl was like, this world's imperfect, it's still wars. So did we technically fail our mission to do that? Oh, there she is. The, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna and also to learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Leviton. And he told me about the bombs he used to quell Clevor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favorite foods. Well, then we better take care of our lady and get this mess resolved first. But first, is that tree behind me dancing? <laughs> All right. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready? Of course. You know, the Scyther cutting down trees had a lot more impact than this dancing Pokemon, I'm just gonna say. Okay! Man, you're invincible while you do the roll, huh? Ta-da! There may be only times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it's all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Is like the rest of this universe currently in a war? Is that what I'm gaining from this? A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? 
You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Oh, so he thinks that because lightning is going out of the rift and I'm from the rift, I may have something to do with it. Or maybe he doesn't believe it, but others do, and he's trying to, like, be like, go fix stuff to prove your innocence. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded to the areas where we can operate safely. That allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Hissy, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? <laughs> Not really. Mm. Pokemon have done grave energy to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that's a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission? Investigate Firespit Island. Firespit Island, that's a safe name. First time I ever caught uh, alpha Pokemon with one Pokeball. That's great. That was less great. Wah! I never thought just a change of color would lead to such different impression for the same Pokemon. This has definitely inspired me. Just give me one moment. Please have a look at the newest entries in my shop's lineup. I have new clothes. Stars. Checker, I could be, I could be part of uh, Demon Slayer. I could be Demon Slayer if I want. That's awesome. Tailored suit. I can get a suit. Glasses, monocle. I can get a monocle. Tinted glasses. <laughs> oh, lots of fun stuff here. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of these right now. I'll go. I'll buy everything later. Trust me. All right, beachside camp. New zone. It's water and fire themed, I guess. Neat. Yes. Oh, everything about this just screams good time. I do love the flute. It feels as if it tones carry to the very end of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I've learned long ago there's no point in asking why for this sort of thing, you know? They could have any reason in the world. Do what? I think it's time to finally evolve you. It looks freaky. All right, check summary. Uh, it's a water and dark type. And it learned a new move. What move did it learn? Ceaseless Edge. The user slashes its shell blade at a target, aiming to land a critical hit. Its splinters left behind the attack will continue to damage the target for several turns. Ooh. Cool. So we get to see a move that's unique to a uh, Samurai. Let's see what this looks like. It looks like a dog with a shell on its head, kind of. All right, Ceaseless Edge. What does this look like? Oh, damn. Oh, it's too drowsy to move. Samurai, hold together. It died to the dot. Wow, that dot hits really hard. Hello? I see Growlithe. For a minute there, I thought the bigger one was Alcanine. We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. Oh, it was an Arcanine. I've no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, 
but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. A Pokemon legit just died in the game. This con lives in Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Aw, oh, little Growlithe. Little sad Growlithe. Well, I can see why it's called uh, Apom Island. It's in the shape of a hand. Oh, but that means I have to run all the way back down. All right, let's begin the trek. So you you want to go to Firespin Island? But well, if you insist, then you probably need Baskalegion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, uh, it's um more than a little difficult. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's the... The... Dus... Dusclops. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So, the materials for the food have to be imbued with the flavor by Dusclops' dark pulse. That's the only way you can make Basquelegion's favorite food, you see. The dus... Oh, uh, I can't say it. Well... The Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around the Deadwood Hunt. Uh, Deadwood Hunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. A t -t talking Pokemon? Yeah, help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> stay away! Stay away! Stay! Ah, why is this Pokemon talking? Huh? Wow! Having fun? No! The opposite! Help me! <laughs> Help me! Thank goodness! I don't know how I survived without you. No one told me to be Pokemon that talk like people out here. What a fright! This basically is like the old... The old, uh... Comment about people discovering parrots for the first time and freaking the hell out. D did you bring it? You know, the Pokemon with a name that sounds like, um... The dust bumps. You really brought it? N no! Don't bring it out! B -b -b Once I give the signal, you have that dust bops of yours. Use this dark pulse. Three. Two. Oh no! It's too frightening! <laughs> Could you get a grip? Come on, try again. Right. So, counting down just to make the anticipation and terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go! A delicious aroma wafts to the air. Basquelegion's favorite snack is now ready. Ah, souls. Souls of children and of happiness and of the dead. A wonderful delicacy. <laughs> Known to the greatest of chefs. Uh, food favored by Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way, from ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Just a double check. You don't, like, uh, dig through graves or something, do you? Free Willy! It's a whale of a tail. Oh. <laughs> Team Rocket's here! Now get ready to hand over that Growlithe! Now, Gengar! They took the big one. <laughs> of course they took the big one! They say you know, they were gonna take him to a place where no one would bother them. The only place around Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is... Fire Spit Island. Oh! Now that you have Basque Legion to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too! Yes, yes, that's what we've been trying to do from the beginning, is gone. Thank you. Uh, I guess I just have to be in water. I see, so it looks like this. So jump! Jump! And basically, it's Zelda-style ball throwing. Fantastic. So, what happens if I try to throw a Pokemon out in this area? So, he doesn't have a problem because he can swim, right? 
But what if it's not a water type? Like, what if I throw uh, Ponyta out here? Will Ponyta be in the water? Ponyta is on some sort of boot system. Is that how it's been done all along? Little Pokemon booties? That's so hard to aim. Because for me, it looks like I hit it just right, but I guess like the fall ends up contributing to it all the same. That didn't do anything. Okay. Stop moving. It's so hard to catch Pokemon in the water. What the hell? Are you kidding me? I was right on top of it. How? There must be a special Pokeball for catching Pokemon in water. There has to be. Come on, evolve already! We've done our homework! Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava trap is supposed to evolve, so get on with it already! <laughs> Let's see... I have Iron Tail, that works. And that was quick! I did warn you, didn't I? I had a score to settle with the Galaxy team. All the pain and suffering I experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work. I'm going to make you pay for every last slight. Am I fighting Gengar now? I am! All right, let's see what you got. Right on. Well, unfortunately, if you're using right on and Gengar, you're not any better off than you were a second ago. How could all of us have been Hey, Charm! I held up a Bomba Stone and to coins Toxic Croak, good as new! Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions in traditional Pokemon style. Oh? Oh! This is evolution! Without a stone. I don't claim to understand it, but I will allow it. You gotta be joking me! Why the puny one evolve? Uh, sisters? Something's not right. Uh-oh. Daddy Arceus is in a bad mood. Now he's gone Super Saiyan. Anyone else reminded of Sonic here? Kinda? I need this Pokemon. We should get out of here too, Polina. Otherwise, we're fair game for Arcanine. Come on, Issy. We should hurry. I mean, I literally came here to stop him. We'll need to make some bombs. Bombs? Iridia, what are you talking about? I'm the leader of our clan. Is it so surprising that I know a little more of these things than you, Le Lena? I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everyone. And yes, I'm well aware you're a leader, Iridia. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? Jesus, someone just like lay down the law here. They got a big head. Remember that while you're dodging, moves will slip right by you. Good luck. I wish that wasn't a thing. Like, have it being invincible in mid-roll. Because it's just too easy at that point. This looks cool, though. He's walking on lava. He is dog Jesus. This is great. Okay, so he doesn't really target anything. What is that? Am I supposed to do something? Am I supposed to hit those? Yes, I am. Okay, got it. Hit him five times before he does that maneuver. Do not fall in the lava. Do not fall in the lava. Do not fall in the lava. 
Do not fall in the lava. Do not fall in the lava. All right, this isn't so bad. I just haven't had any opportunities to, uh, got it. Two, three, four, five. They're real generous with the time here. And that was a one shot. What is that? Okay, I know what that is. Oh, oh, he's doing something new now. Okay, now I can't go over there. Yes, yes, I'm aware. It sucks. Okay, now I know why it's good to go through abilities. I'm dead. My first time losing a fight. And frankly, it wasn't even that hard a fight. No, I, I get it. Yeah, restart the battle. Okay, this is easy. Restart the battle. I get it. Really, there's a continue battle if you want a kitty option? No, 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 no. We're doing this from scratch. Got him! With no damage. Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? Oh, now I understand. Um, was I the only one who felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. But please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to er worry, Iskan. I only kid. I also heard the voice of the previous lord calling out to us. It seems I wasn't the only one watching over this young pup the whole time. Issy, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. Another legend is born, and we need to go find our own dang Growlithe. Y'all know he's around here somewhere. Y'all know it. There's a minor issue that I don't think I can cross lava. Even if I jump. Yeah, it's an invisible wall. Um, there's only Magmar on this island, though. Like, where are, where do I find Gralis? Let's see. I'm here. Uh, there's Seagrass Heaven. I've been pretty much everywhere. But I still haven't found a place to catch Gralis. Once again, I died to Cliff. Oh, Cliff is the hardest boss in the game. It just takes everything from you and has no remorse for giving it back. Good morning, good lady who came from the sky. Commander Commando has told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. Hi, I recognize you. Hissy, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coordinate Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. We've been enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word along to Irida asking... Uh, no, you don't have permission to go up! I'll save it! As if I'll be stopped by the likes of you, now out of my way! Who is this? Hello. Man? Woman? I think it's supposed to be a dude. Commander... I'm sincerely sorry for this interruption. I yet no mine. It seems even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden and Melly. That being said... Yes? It is clear that Security Corps needs even further rounds of training for me later! Hear that, Melly? The Security Corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. The Commander Sumo's moves can send even boulders flying. <laughs> this gentleman is Warden Indigo, who serves, uh, Sneezler. He'll guide you to her domain. And it goes a bit like you, you know. Like me? 
He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some gaps in his memory. There you are, my girl! Welcome to the Coordinate Highlands! I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokémon wandering about these craggy, boulder-strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time is the peak of Ma Mount Corna itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokémon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Also, there's a building up there. Uh, no time like the present, I guess. By the way, I just discovered this, but if you push the center button, you have a sprint. I would have loved to have known this earlier. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. Alright, hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. I thought that this guy simply ran aground here somewhere, but no. He's apparently from my timeline, <laughs> which means, which means there's at least one other human that God Arceus is playing favorites with, and it's this dude of all people. Actually, considering that he lost his memory and is now probably useless, I'm willing to bet that I'm actually the backup plan and this guy's the original protagonist. Well, don't that beat all. <laughs> really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. I now know why he was assigned to this mountain. It's so no one would have to deal with him. The only way your game passed me is if you defeat my partner, Pokemon. How will you proceed, Issy? Bring it on. Go, Skunk Tank! Show these lots the true meaning of silent but deadly. Oh my god, he did, <laughs> he did not just... You never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She's so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such things in Hisui, surely. Oh, that's right, he used to give away rock climb. Bravo! Excellent. Your talent has brought you the destination called victory. Now, allow me to call Sneasler. Allow me to introduce you, Issy. This King Claude Pokemon is Sneasler. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sneasler's aid and quell the Lord in the mountains. I'll return to Jubilife Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Now then, all aboard! Nice. <laughs> there I am. Inside the box. Looking very concerned. <gasps> Everyone, hold your fire. Goodbye. Goodbye, turn around. Turn around right now, goodbye. No, 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 I'm hiding. You don't see jack shit, boy. I'm the sneakiest trainer you've never seen. Why do all the cool Pokemon know Double Edge? Why? Why would they teach him that move? I need ghost types just to prevent them from using fucking Double Edge. God, a ghost type is absolutely necessary for catching these Pokemon. I need a Gengar or something. Actually, I need Zorua. No way! I got it in the first catch! We got Gabite! I already have a Luxray, but getting another Luxray wouldn't be bad. The problem is that I'm too injured to, to win the fight right now. Oh, Sneasler could go up this thing? Huh. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. 
Let's go, skunk tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. Stop saying that, man. All right. And of course they have another one. No effect. No effect. Effective, but it won't hit. I'm going to lose. This sucks. Kadabra only knows one new move. All right, this is it. This is all I got. Either I win this or I don't. Yes, okay, that was very close. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. This guy's useless. Well, he's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Issy? It is a guy. We've discovered he's a guy. I'm sorry, Millie. I can't rid off these frenzies of some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Issy here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. <laughs> You've got a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. A word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electro, or you'll be dead in no time. Lord of the Hollow. Now I get what he means. Now I get what he means. It's not pleasant. All right, keep running, keep running. Don't stop to admire. Great, now I got... So they're not particularly fast, but they are chasing me in uh, slow motion. I'm actually not getting much of a shot in, am I? Am I supposed to do something to stop these uh, electrocute things? Or do they just taste me forever? Okay! Nope, just keep going, just keep going. What is the blue one? What's the blue one supposed to be? Fast, fast is the answer. The blue one is faster. He's doing something new now. Oh, no, it's the same thing. He's just doing it a lot faster. And now all the balls are blue. Wonderful. And last one. There we go. That was a lot of running around. Yo, my alpha gibble or gabite can now turn into alpha garchomp. Yes! And it's an alpha too, isn't it? Yes! Which means that if I call it alpha, it's Pokeball, it's gonna be huge. Oh my god! Yep, this thing could eat a person. Try bringing that to a Pokemon battle. Everyone will shit their pants. Did I get it? Yes! We got Growlithe! Alright, big boy. Hey! Another secret passage. What is this? Seaside Hollow. Hello? Is there supposed to be a legendary or something in here later? Because uh, at the moment, it's just an empty room that looks like it could be used for a Pokemon battle. 
Alabaster Icelands. Uh-oh, Professor, are you still worried you're going to send me to my death? There's no guardians. I just have straight up the leaders here. Let's see. Brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? That's a good question, Adam, man. That's a very good question. Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't the Diamond Clan thing or a Boral Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? Ready to go, is he? Sure! Stop off without me! This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. Yet they keep hanging out with each other, even when they no don't necessarily have to. This man is shirtless. Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can. This man has lost his damn mind. He's got nothing to do up in these mountains, so he just exercises. So I guess uh, the Reggies are in here, eh? I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Don't give it away! Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chest too. Stop! I don't need that much hand-holding. Carving is like the one in the water! Yep. What makes a puzzle more exciting? Be chased and attacked as you do it. Oh, so this is the top. Nice view. Let's just do a normal rock slide. It's a spike move. If I stronged that, it probably would have one-shot him. This definitely will one-shot you. Wait, what? I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. He's literally saying, kids, don't try us at home. It doesn't even show it. Oh, come on. Am I standing on him? Or is he just that big a fella? Oh my god. <laughs> Battle of the Colossus, baby. It's like Dynamaxing all over again. All right, bring it on. Oh, he's reducing the amount of place I can use to escape. Move, 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 move. Move. All right, which way are you gonna come from, left or right? All right, here comes the hard one. Survive! And that's the last one. Everyone's just here now for a group picture. What are you gonna do now all the nobles have been quelled, is he? Good question. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we play Grimmel Commando Visit. Yeah, yeah. Kaboom! I didn't need to voice that. They did it for me. <laughs> well, that's sad, ominous. Ah, uh, back to bed. <laughs> oh, you should really have side. They're not letting me. This doesn't look good, is he? Mm. 
way this guy has changed is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You didn't call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? I can wait. There's a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Issy fell from the sky, did it not? It always seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Issy? You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? He thinks I'm a spy. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? This person, this stranger appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee who she says? Who here can guarantee who she is to be trusted? That's, no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a, a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is this he's supposed to do then? You'll be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. I've basically been told to go solve this problem. I've not forgotten your deeds nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That's why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. Oh, am I in control? I can't talk to anybody. Can it really be true? How could anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. Everyone's so superstitious. Yo, this took a turn. I mildly expected Commander Kato of being suspicious of us. Clearly this guy has experienced some kind of like war in the past, right? And he is basically living off of the dregs of that fear that harm will come to this place that he's trying to make peaceful and perfect. You know, he kept mentioning that people are doubting you. People are doubting you. It's like, who's doubting me? No one says anything, and everyone seems pretty friendly when I bring them Pokemon. But I guess since the commander is the one person who doesn't go out on adventures with me, it makes sense that he'd be the one guy who's doubting me the most. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable. And, I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such a logical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. It will only cause Issy more pain if you're driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamin or Irida might uh, help take you in. Yeah, everyone else just treats me normally. Oh! That's right, I can fly now. <laughs> I was expecting a deer. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui can be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that would come from that rift was disaster. Uh, never mind then. Is that really all you came to say? Look, you needn't try to put on a brave face. You've been a help to the Pearl Clan, and we know what kind of person you are. Though it must be said, for every sympathetic ear you might find there, you may also find a de uh, detractor who fears your presence. I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that. There's nothing I alone can do for you. Ward and Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You probably find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. I 
idea why they think that I need the help of a clan to deal with the Pokemon, considering the fact that I literally own these wilds. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weird Ear took a liking to you. I want to offer my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Everyone's assuming so much about me. God, can I call you? Aw, the little Sphinx is trying to cheer me up instead of tear my face off like normal. There's still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that'll be perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Are they, is the galaxy team, wait, why is I hiding away? Is like, are like the teams actively hunting me now? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each twelve is a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. You may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. If we were to undermine the Commander's direct orders, relations would grow... strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us. Me, or her. It's up to you. Uh, though the answer should be obvious. What? I have to make a choice between the clans now? We were working together the whole time. Uh, I guess I'll have Adaman come with me. <clears throat> Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestia flute in the first place? That's right, this dropping young man. Let me think it over. And then what do you say? Of course he'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when he first set out to quill Cleaver. You and I made the, his bombs together. Uh, yeah, after lots of arguing, I'm cho I'm choosing Adaman. Ooh! Hey, misfit, you bastard! I had to chase you all across the goddamn continent in the last game. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy Team? <laughs> I felt bitter. Life is complicated. I accepted it. Of course, we're going with this one. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. So like, can I catch you later or? Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about Hisui, Volo. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led to this, to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I even got some questions about its true nature. I like how in both, like, stories like this game and in Breath of the Wild, we're supposedly taking place at like a super ancient time, right? And we're talking about like the old legends of the ancient ones. When are we ever going to get so far back in the past that we end up, like, meeting the legend for the first time? That's what I'm wondering. Actually, Breath of the Wild has an answer for that because uh, that's what Skyward Sword was. Skyward Sword was the first story of Zelda, wasn't it? That thing is so cool! I want one! Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet, yet all at once. Answer me. Oh, enter your answers together as a series of numbers. All right, Combi, Combi is two, Zubat is zero, uh, and then three, three, one. Answer me true, if answer you would. Did I mess up? Shit, I messed up. 
Wait, Combi has six eyes? No, oh, does it? Combi the Pokemon. Image. Oh, Combi has three faces! Combi has three faces. I'm an idiot. So in that case would be six, zero, one, three, one. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. That was an honest mistake. Alright, yeah, 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 you're happy now. For some reason, I thought Combi had just two eyes and just a honeycomb body. I assume all went well, is he? Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? It wouldn't be a game of otherwise, man. So that's Uxie's Claw. I sense warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed! Yet yeah, we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are... Thanks. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kodo has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should the Nia rise. Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh, we get to have a big Pokemon battle. Those bombs just appear out of nowhere. I guess you're meant to throw them at Azelf. Oh, this is going to be fun. What the? Alrighty. My aim sucks. Okay, so I have no chance of hitting him. But I'll keep trying and he wants me to just keep trying. You seem to hear a voice in your head. Seems you have the best give up. Will you continue regardless? Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I'll keep going. Keep on chugging like the goddamn Energizer Bunny. And how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to have been capable of binding the very world. You really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. SHUT UP, Ray! <laughs> if he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, they should not have left me in charge here. <laughs> Good answer. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. You think you'd go ask for me? That's a man who knows he signed up for the wrong job. Hello? Oh, still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to shelter the wallflower. I'd much rather be here, there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster commando's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. It always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. Oh, they're war buddies! You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, Oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last! 
One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques have been left to molder all these long years. Am I fighting this guy with Pokemon or as a person? Oh, with, with Pokemon. He's a ninja! Old man Benny's a ninja! That's amazing! Alright, you're fighting the alpha Pokemon now. Oh, that was the last one. That was a plot twist, though. Listen well, Izzy. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Mato and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that? And I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Either way, I'm getting assassinated, it sounds like. <laughs> That's so cool, though. He was a ninja the whole time. Holy crap. All right, Kamado. Ready to hurt my throat again? Oh, this is neat. Are you wearing armor? He is! He's a soldier, a samurai, general. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me instead. What? Do you think even the red chain is some trick on Issy's part? She works mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with her the whole time. If she somehow concocted all that on her own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Enough! Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Nissi! Today we battle in earnest! Look at that mustache is swaying in the wind. He's ready for war. This is a man I'd follow in the battle. Battle decided. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Oh? Is he? The fates have decided. I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask of it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestia people and all of the Pokemon living in Hisui. You got it, boss. Mustache can do no wrong. And here we have the statues of all the guardians. Wait, one, two. There's only five guardians. Oh, plus the mount. Plus the right Pokemon, of course. Plus the right Pokemon. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Uh, Adamant? What are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Ah, uh, so it really is the case where I only get to choose one of them. I think that by choosing Hit Diamond Chieftain to come with me, I can't catch Palkia. I think I'm stuck with Diago. I mean, I like Diago more than Palkia, so I would have made that choice anyway, but man, I was hoping I could get both in this game. Why is Pokemon always gotta, like, cock block you when it comes to getting, like, all the Pokemon? I got trade and do all sorts of other pain in the ass stuff. Hey, Dialga!
Go, Gardevoir! I'm an idiot. He's a steel type, isn't he? Okay, Earth Power of one time. Yikes! Double Edge, I guess? I don't want him to faint. One more time. All right, got him. And now it's time to try and catch him, I guess. Ultra Balls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get in the ball. Well, that was easy. I, I got the first try. <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? Or was I just like insanely lucky? You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. It's all because she had to, uh, me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Let's not, let's not go taking all the credit, Ray. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me through my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzy run comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? Apparently, I'm fighting it with Dialga. All right, so who's causing all this ha this haywireness? Oh, I get it. It's the opposite. The opposing Pokemon is the problem. So basically, whoever I'm with is one Pokemon, and then whoever I didn't bring with me will be the antagonist. All right, so I do have a chance at both. This is wonderful. Let me fight it. Woo! All of you, we must vacate this. Ah, forget the fancy talk. We'll get, come on. We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. Are you telling me you've been in character this whole time? <laughs> we need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. I think you better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, of course it's those three. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover! We haven't seen you since you walked out in the clan. Where have you been all this time? Huh. I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I remain unconvinced. By the way, have I introduced you to Dialga? I was able to extract some of that origin, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose I'd better go with you, is he? The fragments of the red chain, collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. We've done it, Issy! It's complete! I dub it, the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then it should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Is it a Master Ball? A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon rampaging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Holy shit. And now it's a horse. Why is it a horse? Where did your arms go?
Oh, this is... Oh, okay, this is one of these fights. What the... Okay, it can teleport. Let's just run around and see what's up. This is all me. I'm like, there's not even a chance for my Pokemon to come in here. It's me versus Palkia. Need that we will turn the red chain into a Pokeball. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration history has ever seen. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the history region. Is that really the end? What about Big Daddy Arceus? Nope. Nope. Don't do that. Don't show me that. No, 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 no. Nope. You think, you think I'm not on to you? You think I don't know your ways? Please. I am an avid Pokemon fan. I've played every generation. Every single one. I'm aware. I'm aware how this turns out. There's gonna be a whole overstory at the end of this where I actually have to deal with giant god Arceus or something. Maybe I don't get to catch Arceus himself. We've done that before. But there's definitely something gonna go on. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a cute picture. Oh, I should have screenshot it. Damn it. My arc phone is beeping. Yeah. Yeah, what I tell ya. God, Arceus is not done with me. Now, Professor Leventon, the business. What's the current state of progress on the Pokédex? I dare say we made quite significant progress, all in all. Although uh, we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokémon have only been mentioned in Nisui's legends, after all. Who knows if they are even real? Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How are we to know what's true and what's not? Pardon, I couldn't help but over here. If, if it's Hisuian history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why, I spent plenty of time studying such things instead of, <clears throat> uh, I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, -ho! music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Lissy. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed, for the sake of the Pokédex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokémon by other means. Darkrai. Where is he? Got him. 
Read the grave, uh, the text engraved in the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Issy? I think we should try to gather all the plates. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. I love this mask. It looks so cool. But I don't want to wear it while there are cutscenes. This is like something you wear at Endgame, right? There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui. Other mysteries to be solved. Whether they're connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are Pokemon of the Lakes, of course. And the Temple Giant. The Crescent Moon. The Volcano. And perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then. What would you hear of? Oh, so now we get to go. I'm curious about the beginning. I know what these are. Three Lake Pokemon. This is Heatran. This is Cresselia. This is Regigigas. What is the beginning? Indeed. A beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here? I've had a message from Mistress Kagira. I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort with a merchant, Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Alright, I was going to save that one for last, but I guess we're doing it first. Prelude Beach. Indeed, a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words! Face me in battle! You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokémon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Appropriate. On the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adaman, Iridia, it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Erm. Um, might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. That answers my question. The flowers may be withered, but I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. The, the flowers! Oh, that's pretty. And there's Shaman. There we go, critical capture. That was easy. Nice. I got a Shaman. All right, so I guess all the Pokemon from uh, the whole Legendary series is here. And I got a cute little flower garden. Wonderful. Alright, first question. Can I stun it? Yes, I can fight this Pokemon as a person. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to do it, though. Nice! Right, so here's the door. How do I open you? This door here, well, they say it blo uh, behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. The stone plate and icicle plate you carry seem to be reacting to the door. Ah, I'm missing a plate. Got it. So, it needs more plates. 
I have the stone plate, the icicle plate, I need the steel plate. I wonder, Issy, are there people even stronger than you out in the world? Pokemon stronger than yours? I'll just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure I promised you. Uh, I'm told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to Almighty Sin, er, to Mighty Palkia, I mean. And since Mighty Palkia is with you now, I'll trust the illustrious globe to you too. Thank you, Issy, for everything. Are you leaving the continent? Alright, so since she gave me a quest, I guess that means that Adamant has something for me too. Yep. This used to be my grandfather's. He said I was somehow related to Almighty Sin, I mean, to Mighty Dialga. So, now that I put you through the ringer a little, it seems right to give it to you since you're the one who caught Mighty Dialga. You know, I ought to tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon, another way to relate to the world. So I can't hit you with balls, is that it? We'll see about that, Azelf. Alright, no more teleporting around for you. Got the Draco plate. Oh, this is the dragon plate. What? It seems something has once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. No labyrinth or nothing, it's just straight up heat ran, huh? Alright. There's a number of ways this can go down. But only one way I want it to go down. Alright, let's go, boy. He has a barrier. Round him! Oh, I do not have enough mud balls. But it doesn't matter, because he got caught. Okay, got the iron plate. This is good. Uh, I actually need the iron plate to awaken Regigigas. All right, I have a ice, a steel, and a rock plate. There we go. <laughs> Everyone's excited. Bring it on, big boy. Oh, I have to battle it? All right, this has to be a battle fight. It's not too hard to capture Pokemon. Yeah, you're as weak as you're gonna get. Ultra Balls do a lot. Oh, yes, this is a dynamic duo we needed. <laughs> UV me. Oh. All the controls are backwards. All right, not even gonna play around with it. Get in the ball. There we go, that's all of them. Which means God Arceus is the only one left. All right, my lady. Kagata, I brought you the plates. Kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? I have brought you the wood. Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I feel. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. C cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates we're after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, I see. A reward for the wood you've brought me. Oh, there's the pixie plate. That's one of the plates we were looking for! What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. 
Hmm, this does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board, whatever <laughs> ingredients caused it, uh, crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. She used it as a cutting board. This crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina is banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world with a reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. So it's basically Pokemon on the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel it. We're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I could help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what ticked my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, in ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. And with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Oh no. Is this guy gonna be... the antagonist? Now, if we can find the realm that exists to the reverse side of our world, and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, Perhaps we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Cornus Peak. The sky is telling me to summon the devil. Alright. I guess we're going to summon the devil then. Oh, the temple. This is how the temple got destroyed. Oh... When we show up in this temple in Diamond and Pearl, it's already in ruins. This is what caused it to fall to ruins. The summoning of Palkia or Dialga, depending on whichever one I chose. Oh, this is getting intense. The temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken. Like pillars now turned into spears, stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm. Is something bothering you? Ah, I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must be—I must seem to be behaving strangely. I dare say, you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there's been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had it tear open that rift in space-time. This guy is the antagonist! After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-composing deity, just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hands seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where's the last one? Why, it's right here! Costume change. Oh, this is getting good now. What the fuck? <laughs> now hand over the plates you gathered. I will be the one to bring them all together. My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. Is this what? It's weird to think this is what Cynthia could have potentially become. If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate his power. And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hisui region that we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle! Not that you have a choice, even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. I'm ready, man. Maybe I'm not ready. I'm not using- my Pokemon are kind of underleveled, and he's got six of them. This could be bad. And he has a Spirit Tomb, because of course he does. Well, I wish my Fairy-type was out first. 
Oh my god, it's level 68. Alright, well, I know which one I'm going for. Uh, he's got three Pokemon left. I have no revives. Alright, he's got Togekiss. I should be able to attack first, but of course I can't because freaking Togekiss. Uh-oh. Run away. Do I really have to go all the way back so I can switch out my Rayolu for a Gardevoir? We won with Darkrai. <laughs> Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? Holy crap. That was hard. Why? How? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest into its study. All the time I spent poring over the legends. Everything that I've done. You outsider. It's almost as if you were spat out of the space-time rift just to get in my way. No. No, this isn't finished yet. Can you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins. The eldritch presence icing your heart. Giratina's here. Giratina, strike her down! Oh, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. Let's dance! Oh wait, it's a Pokemon battle? What? Well, we're fighting one legend to another, so I feel this is a lot more fair now. But it knows fighting type moves, because of course it knows fighting type moves. Why wouldn't it know fighting type moves? And Giratina's just too drowsy to move. It fights up the drowsiness. But doesn't matter, because Dark Pulse has finished you. Go, Darkrai! Yo, Darkrai's ability is too strong. Uh, what? It has a second phase. I need to beat this guy by a landslide. No, no Agile style. Don't give me that crap. All right, this is impossible. This is, this is fucking impossible. No way. All right. Um, I guess I'm not recording this today because it's 5.30 in the morning now. I've been up all night. And I need to go level my Pokemon like crazy in order to actually beat this guy. Oh, that was ridiculous. Okay. After taking out the local ma uh, Machoke, Ryolu, Electra Buzz, and Blissey population, I finally got Samurott and everybody up to at least level 70. I'm pretty sure I can win a fair game now. All right, Bolo. I don't care how many forms your friggin' Giratina has. This time, we're gonna win. Doubling it. And Giratina gets an attack bonus, because that attack did not do that much damage before. Uh okay, we can do this. We can do this. I just need to not freak out. I, I have a plan. There's a plan. It's not a great plan, but it's a plan. Here's a good plan. I'm going to play... Giratina's attacks typically take two hits to wipe out my Pokemon, right? I have max revives, which will put my Pokemon at full HP. 
So basically, he hits me twice, the Pokemon dies. While I do that, two Pokemon goes back up to life. So for every one that he loses, I get two back. And eventually, I'll have my full team back up again, and we will hopefully defeat Garantino once and for all, because this is nonsense. It is wonderful seeing that Lucario can't just hit me twice and call it a day. Arcanine is pulling so much rank here. He started off as my weakest in my team, and now, now he's carrying it. Um, whoever I play now has to take the first hit the next turn. And I want Ceaseless Edge to hit so that it does the stab attack. So I think we play Lucario next. Lucario does his thing. Yeah, I have two of these no matter what I do. So I'm going to use uh, Aura Sphere because it never misses. And I only need one attack of Aura Sphere because Lucario's a boss. All right, unfortunately, boss Lucario is going to die in one hit next turn. But... At least he takes the first shot. Okay. This time. This time for sure. Your reign's coming to an end, big guy. He uses Aura Sphere. Samurai goes down. Lucario goes next. I'm going to use Lucario to summon more guys. Go, 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 kiss. Best tank. Will you strong style? This should take out Giratina. Yep. Giratina goes down. And then he goes into second phase. Oi, oi, oi. That's a new move. All right, am I ending this with Lucario or the Garchomp I raised? I raised this guy to goddamn. Come on, Garchomp. You're my strongest boy. You're my biggest dragon. Let's turn this into a colossal dragon v. dragon fight. Outrage, finish it off. Yes. Is that its final form? Is there another phase? I finally beat Giratina. Finally is right. My God! That took forever. That took way too long. That took five hours to accomplish. Five hours. Just to grind up to that point. Turning tail and running from this puny human? Pathetic. I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and the deity of time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding. How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it then that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not to satisfying this ache to know. Answer me then, Issy. You have some dream that propels you, as I had. Uh, I do. To be a YouTuber. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. At least it didn't go out the way that, like, Team Galactic did, where, like, the... Uh, I forgot the boss's name. The guy basically committed suicide by jumping into Giratina's hole. <laughs> jumping in a Pokemon hell. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates said to exist in this land of Hisui. My flute's doing something. The Celestial Flute transformed into the Azure Flute. How do you play this instrument? So that's... That's it. The Azure Flute. <laughs> it comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Ah! I've no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would never manage to defeat Arceus. 
Someday, I'll solve every riddle in the Legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. I mean, he supposedly is going to die of old age, yeah? I don't ever recall him in, like, the original Pokemon Sinnoh game, so I guess he disappears? Um... Lord have mercy, that was brutal. Oh my god! I've said this before, what makes that fight so effing hard is that it's essentially like fighting against a trainer with eight Pokemon. Which in the past, in past Pokemon games, wouldn't have been a big deal. But you forget that in this game, it's really easy for like a level 10 Pokemon to defeat a level 50 Pokemon, if you have enough of them. So numbers matter. There it comes. The legend. The true end game. All right, God, let's see what you have in store for me. Lucario's going up first. I could just text him. There was no need for this whole flute thing. I could have just texted him. No Arceus? Oh, Arceus texted me. Seek out all Pokemon. Ar I'm sorry. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Seek out all Pokemon. Are you telling me that I have to complete the Pokedex in order to see the true ending? What? Fill the Pokedex. Maybe I don't need to like fill the Pokedex. Maybe I just have to catch one of each Pokemon. So every Pokemon I don't have, I have to catch. Because there's plenty of Pokemon I'm missing from this roster. I'm missing, um... Let's see, I don't have Rowlet or Cyndaquil or Togepi. I have no idea how I'm gonna get these ones. Oh boy. All right, I guess we'll see you again in a few months. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Ah! Have you heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands and then just vanished without a trace. I see, my girl, you must tell me. You went to the temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? I see. In that case, the shadow in the Cobalt Coastlands may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have once been banished to the reverse side of our world. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. I do, actually, because if you remember, I found a giant arena cave earlier, and I had no idea what the heck it was supposed to do. Hello, Giratina. Are you in here, buddy? What? Seaside Hollow. Is this not it? Oh, he's in Turnback Cave. He's not in... Got it. I thought... Well, what the heck is this cave for, then? Wait, what is this cave for? This cave, right here, Seaside Hollow. What is it for? I was so convinced this is where Giratina would be, but I guess... I guess there's more legendary Pokemon to come or something. There he is! I'm here to catch yous. I have 864 Pokeballs just for this occasion. You gave me so much hell. Five hours of work, I'll add it up to you. Let's make it worth it. And never mind, it worked. Never mind, it worked. Catching Pokemon's way too easy in this game. Sit on back and tell them the good news. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Asui after s discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to the Pokedex. That makes no sense. He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's the lady. I've just been told of the foul plan Volo had concocted. Well, 
think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. This is what happens if you allow it to. Well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. So I speak to you of one of them. Which Pokemon would you hear about? It's not over. There's more legendaries to catch. When you've completed entries in your Pokedex for Landorus, Thunder, Tornadus, and Thunderous, come and speak with me. So she can direct me towards another legendary, I bet. There we go. I see him. Woo! That was cool. Seven balls. It took seven Pokeballs to catch uh, one of these guys. Sounds about right. There he is. Alright, Thunderous, let's do this, buddy. I don't want to kill him. Uh, I guess we'll just try a Pokeball? I don't think... This obviously won't catch him, but... Oh, it got it! Lucky. Okay, milady. I caught all three of the legendaries. Yes. I did it. Oh, completed them in the Pokedex. The Pokedex entries. What? Oh, don't tell me I have to catch it like 50 times or something. Okay, so extra sensory, extra sensory, and then your specialty ability, and use it a whole bunch. Okay. Let's go, buddies. Let's go. Last one. Extra sensory. Do it, thunderous. And that's all of them. Okay. Lady, you have no idea what I had to do to get all this. You now know much about Landus, Tornadus, and even Thunderus. Well done. And now, it's time to tell you the rest. Uh... You can't mean. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel right now. There is one more of that cohort. Come. My... God, it... Huh. It's like Cupid, but horribly done wrong. <laughs> you can pull that out of anywhere. Okay, finally, we're in the Pokemon battle. Last chance. Six, come on! Come on! Oh. And Lady Luck prevails. Here, this is the reveal glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, it will assume different forms. Ah. Alright. Um, this is the thing that turns these Pokemon into beasts. Alright, now comes the question that's on everyone's mind. What exactly... Okay, what exactly... Does this look like... <laughs> on Enamorous? What the fuck is that?! I'm sorry, can we go through that again? What? Are you some kind of snapping turtle with a snake on it? That's also an anteater. 
I, this is a mythic beast, everybody. God, this thing is weird. Okay. Uh, put it back, please. <laughs> Just put it back. I'm gonna leave this little nightmare somewhere where I'll never see it again. Here you go. Go next to nightmare fuel. Yeah, this is worth it. Whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> Gasly's little light effect doesn't work quite right in the distortion world. Wow, you gathered every last one of the wisps! I really can't thank you enough. Ah, <sighs> now we can finally seal away that hack revving bundle of mischief once more. But we'll need to go to the shrouded ruins. That's the only place the sealing will work. We should meet there at the same time of day as when we first met. Hope you remember. Hello, Bessa. I'm glad you came. Let's get started, shall we? Bessa. Oh. You can't trust anyone in this game! What is it? Are you Spirit Tomb? First the old man, then Volo. Now little girls are also turning out to be evil. Oh. About the Wisp, there are actually 108 of them. I've been putting, uh, I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put it in the odd keystone with the others? After this, the traveler who used that strange magic will finally forgive me, right? Ah, close your eyes for a sec, would you? No, this is how you die, come on. Creepy little girl in the ruins. Wait, forgive me. The traveler will final. the traveler with magic will forgive me. Making you gather all those wisps was my last bit of mischief. Thanks for playing along. Please, don't forget about me. Oh, hi, Spirit Tomb. There we go. Okay, I think I get the story here. Basically, Spirit Tomb is a collection of wicked souls. It was a Pokemon of evil that caused mischief. A human used strange magic to seal it away within a tomb. And I guess it was Vesa was like one of those souls. And she was saying that she learned her lesson and she's hoping that humans will forgive her. Okay. Don't forget about you, huh? You got it, kiddo. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're so close to the Pokedex, surely. We must be reaching the end of this. No more surprises. Hello again, would you do me a quick little favor? Sure, what is it? Don't worry, it's very simple. I hope so. Could you bring me a hundred medicinal leaks? Uh. Why? Why? A hundred? I must address my people. This is a monumentous occasion. My brothers, hear me! We have faced much adversity in order to get to this point. Wiping out nearly the entire Rosalia, Geodude, Machamp, and Blissey populations. But no more! Finally, we are free from the tyranny that is Collectathons. Finally! The Pokédex is complete! Brothers, we've been doing much bullshit in order to get this far. Especially looking for the remainder two Pokémon on the last two for Coronet Islands. Because apparently it was Magnemite and Magneton which shows up as a freaking time-space dimensional event in the Cobalt Coastlands. But we did it! And- <laughs> Wake back up, I'm giving a monumental speech here. But we did it! We will now bring our grudges to bear against the god Arceus who created this world. And we're gonna put him, infinite cosmic power, into tiny bitty living space. Let's finish this thing. Yeah, but to give you an idea of how much BS it was getting to this point, I started off with 999 Pokeballs. I now have 386, or er, 368 rather. That was a long, 
long bit of bullshit in order to get the final, final, final cutscene. I have seeked out all Pokemon. Except for two in the dimensional area. And Manfi, are you fucking shitting me? It's not over. It's never over! This boss music is so appropriate for the way I'm feeling! There's no hope! I'll be honest, this is a really fun game. Even after, like, tons and tons of grinding and having all these dumb requirements to reach the final end game, it's still a fun game. It's just that because I have to record it and I have to get it out and edit it and stuff, it's not a game I can play for fun in moderation. Because I'm doing kind of a forced march. They're so cute! It's got a bunch of little friends. Ow, ow! Ow! Stop! Alright, feel level 36, getting the ball. A onesie. A completed Pokedex, at last. Though in a way, you could almost call this an Issy Dex. I recall the message you received when you first fell to this land. Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seems you finally achieved that goal. It's finally time. Okay. I finally got all the Pokemon. All of them! This time... This time it's for real. I had the cutscene to prove it and everything. Arceus, I've accomplished your holy mission. Your acolyte is here. I got a stairway to heaven. It's time. Look at that badass walk. We know what we're about to do. God, it's time to meet you in person. Where are you at? I have all your plates. Went through all the trials. Even spent 12 hours hunting one damn rare Pokemon. Is he gonna appear behind me? Or above me? Or he's a god, right? So it's probably gonna be more glorious than that. Oh. The suspense. Oh, he's sending me a text. No, it's a video call. What is... Is that a Pokeball? Did he turn my phone into a Pokeball? Oh my- Oh, it is! It's a mysterious bomb. What the heck? Oh, that looks okay! Just focus on dodging. Just focus on dodging. Just focus on dodging. Just focus on dodging. By the way, Lucario should probably be up first, yeah? What the- Just don't stop moving. Just don't stop moving. Don't bother trying to throw bombs at him. He's steering meteors, and actually this is the most tame thing he's done so far. Oh, here he comes. Jump! All right, I've seen your tricks. I don't know that trick. Oh, I know that trick. I know that trick. I know that trick. 
Lucario! He can change his type. I think his basic type is, uh, I think his basic type is normal type. He is faster than Lucario. Alright, offensive stats are raised, offensive stats are raised. Alright, uh... I have a sneaking suspicion he's gonna one-shot me, but anyway. Or a sphere. He's a normal type. Until he uses one of his crystal things. Yep. But that's not very effective because it's a steel type. Close combat. Let's do it. Yes. No. Holy crap. He's got high defense stats. All right. So knows hyper beam and extra sensor, right? All right. Now he's going to teleport to me. Or not. What is that? He's red now. What the heck? Run! 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 Now he's doing some new shit. How many abilities does this guy have? What? Okay! Okay! He's not gonna teleport into me, is he? What is this? He's doing some new shit now. One's fake! One is fake! One is fake! One is- What? Okay, apparently when he does that, you have to just hit him with the bombs right away. Oh my god, <laughs> this is such an intense fight. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know your tricks now. I know your tricks now. You're not gonna get the best of me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Come on, one more hit. One. Pull up the beam. Lucario. All right, dimensional crack. Look for the crack, look for the crack, look for the crack. There it is. Ah! I keep thinking he's gonna come out faster than he does. All right, hate this move. All right, and then we got to sprint over to that last one and hit him hard. Four, five. Wait, that released? It still got me? Oh! Luxray is down. That's fine. I still have Samurai. Send out my my buddy, the guy who was with me from the beginning, Samurai Aqua Tail. Nice, nice. Covers quick. All right, dimensional portal. Remember, it's slower than you think. Wait for it to come out. Yeah, there we go. This is epic. Everything about this is epic. I, I can't even talk right now. I'm so focused. No. Yes. Yes. I have him right where I want him. What? Did we do it? Was that it? I think that's it. I think we got him. Thou hast done well to seek out- Oh, remember his, his true voice. Thou hast done well to seek out all Pokemon! Because he's the announcer. <laughs> Unflagging devotion to a goal shalt see it through. So, hast thou proven thy, by thine actions? I feel like I'm ruining the epicness. All right. Much as that ancient hero once did, he and the Pokemon that walked beside him. To see such truths proven anew, beyond the bounds of time and space, bringeth joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path, Upon thee, and upon this creation where thou now dwellest, I bestow my blessing, and I bestow upon thee a part of myself. I would walk this world together with thee. Show me how it appeareth in thine eyes. 
We got God. I got the legend plate. What? A stone tablet imbued with the essence of all creation. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of every type there is. Okay, my god. It works with Arceus. So, getting the ball? I think we did it. We have him! We have Arceus! The Arc is beaming. God is still calling me from the Pokeball. Oh, uh, we don't need a rematch. Okay, so I can fight Arceus at any time now. This is amazing. We did it! Oh my god, we did it. Alright, what? Does anyone have anything special to say? Is there any special quest involved when I talk about Arceus? Yes, I caught God. Arceus is the heavenly fount from which uh, pours light that shines across his sui. Its luminous, uh, its luminous guides and protects all Pokemon. His sui in mythology states that Arceus is the creator of all things. Return to the village. We have to celebrate at the Wallflower. So I'm just going to walk around the village with these four from now on. Hi, citizens. Hi, do you all see what I got packing right here? I'm a literal deity on my side. It's over. It's finally over, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We completed Pokemon Legends Arceus. This game was amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. We fought the first boss, Dialga, followed by the second boss, Palkia, Giratina, the secret final boss, Arceus. And now I get to go fight the secret, secret final boss, which is editing 40 plus hours of Pokemon footage into this super compilation. Hope you enjoyed it.